congratulations to those winners. Okay. So we are going to go into our next segment. So all of our hairstyle panelists, if you guys could go ahead and turn on your cameras and turn on uh, your turn on your cameras and turn on your audio. So I will introduce them each. Each of these hairstylists, um, they are super uh, experienced, and they're coming to share with you why. Uh, and one of you has background noise. If you maybe you don't mind leaving until I call on you. Um, uh, each of them have a great experience and are going to share with you really their experience with Miura, why it's different, why it's unique, and what they've learned using the system. So I'm going to introduce them one by one and then ask them some questions. So we have Beth Shapiro. She is a American and international board certified hair colorist, former natural educator and platform artist for Hotheads, Thomason Beauty, and Theramafuse. She specializes in dimensional color and extensions. Very fancy. Thank you. Welcome, Beth. We have Autumn Klein, who is a licensed cosmetologist, master stylist, certified hair colorist with 15 years experience. Welcome, Autumn. We have Christy King. She is a three-year salon owner, 19-year master stylist and colorist. She's certified and trained with Wella International in New York City, um, as, long, as well as working alongside of the top educators, including the international director and top colorist at Michelle Aponte um, who, with Schwarzkopf and R R Roberto Cremins from Paul Mitchell. She's certified in Brazilian blowouts. Welcome, Christy Klein. King. <laughs> and then... We have Kelly, uh, Kelly Sheffwaker. She's a Beverly Hills trained hairstylist. She's been a uh, hairstylist for 22 years. She has a celebrity clientele. She's worked in salons such as Jose Haber on Rodeo Drive. Um, she has also was on the Bravo TV show Blowout. Welcome, Kelly Sheffwaker. And then we have Diane Tastani. She's been a hairstylist for 39 years and owned her own salon for 34 years and is in the process of building a brand new salon. So please welcome Diane Tastani. Awesome. Okay, well, we're going to get right into it. And Kelly, if you could mute yourself until I call on you, that'd be awesome. Just thank you guys. Okay, so here's what uh, I want to know from each of you, and I'll kind of call you up call each of you one by one, is as a professional hairstylist, right, like this is your profession, the thing that you are, you know, trained in, know, love, I want to know kind of your honest reaction when you are announced Prolux, like what you were thinking in that moment, and then after that, what has been your experience when you use the product yourself, as well as the experience you've seen on different clients with different hair types, so I'm going to start with you, Diane, go ahead. Um, well, thank you very much for having me on. And um, the one thing that I did say um, right away when you had mentioned that, Amber, when we were speaking was my initial reaction was, oh, my gosh, um, you know, coloring people's hair every three, four, five weeks is my bread and butter. So I was a little bit like, hmm, <laughs> I'm going to promote a product that's going to slow down the grain process. But honestly, what I realized after using it, it really, especially for me, I have a lot of more grown-up clients. We have, they have a lot more gray. Um, so it definitely has softened, kind of given it like a blurred effect of instead of them having a solid demarcation of regrowth from hair coloring, um, it's definitely much softer. Um, so that's one of the big ahas that I've had. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Um, how about you, Kelly? And you unmute yourself. There you go. Hi. Um, okay. Well, like Diane, when I was first um, hearing about Prolux, I did get a little nervous because I thought, oh, no, you know, I this has to be amazing like every other product. And that also gave me comfort because I knew that everything else was so great. So it was just like, ooh, I, I, you know, I have a lot of friends that have been using really great salon quality products forever and I was like okay please be like that because if it is this is going to be wonderful and after I used it I was so excited because I mean it made my hair shinier it made it fuller it felt 
great. It was light because I don't have very much hair. Uh, it was very light on my hair, which I loved, but it felt nourished. Different different than other shampoos had before. It just felt nourished. And then I was able to take out my extensions that I've worn for about 20 years, um, and I haven't put you know, I, I haven't had to put them back in. So um, I took them out in November when I started using Prolex, and I haven't put them back. So it's been amazing for me, and I love it, and my clients are loving it. So awesome. I, Thank you. Yeah. And then uh, how about you, Autumn? Hello, everyone. Good evening. Um, yeah, so when I was first introduced to Prolux, I actually was kind of put on the spot a little bit. Um I did not know that I was going to be actually demoing a model. So when I found out what Prolux was, my initial reaction was, okay, um, I really hope that I like this because I'm going to have a hard time promoting something I don't love. And um, actually what ended up happening was I, in my head, um, have been working with a plant-based or plant-derived line for about five to six years now. So, And I liked it, um, but I knew what it was capable of. And so when I sampled Prolux, I demoed it on a model. We dried her. Actually, the before and after picture that we used has circulated since November. And I was absolutely blown away. I, I was speechless. And they said, well, what do you think? And I'm like, uh, what could you not think? It's amazing. Her hair felt great. Um, and they gave me a really good model to try it on because she was color treated. Um, she was over 50% gray, super coarse resistant hair. So what this product was capable of in just one wash absolutely uh, amazed me. And at that point, I knew, like, this was going to be something to run with because this was not comparable to anything else that I had ever used before. Awesome. And then since then, when you had your clients with different hair types try it, how has that been? Um, so for my clients, I've had, um, I, I, I would say I have a pretty wide range of um, color-treated clients. And that really stuck out to me because longevity of color is important. And that's something that, you know, it doesn't matter what their color looks like. They want to know how it's going to hold um, until you see them again. So for me, Prolux was something that as they continued to come back, and each time they came back, I noticed their hair was feeling better and looking better, and their color looked like it had just got done um, with the exception of some regrowth. So that's kind of where I knew that um, this really had sealed the deal all over for my clients because most all of them are, you know, color treated. Awesome. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right. How about you, Beth? Hey. Um, thanks for having me on. Uh, I, you know, when I first found out this was coming out, I was actually hopeful and excited because everything else that has been launched has been incredible. I've loved everything, use every single product. So I was excited about it. Um, and what I did find was using it on myself first was important to me because um, I have to see what it does for my hair. My hair gets flat easily. And I was so excited I had to go live that day. And then I started using it on my clients at the back bar. And the difference I saw was incredible. Um, like Autumn said, they were com coming back every month, and their color, the reds that I do a lot of, they weren't fading. And that's huge. You just There's not a lot of products out there that can do even that. Um, but all the multiple things that it was doing for my clients, I was loving. Awesome. Thank you. And how about you, yourself, Beth? I think you you were one of the, the before and after pictures, right, of, that we showed there, and that having, like, fuller hair kind of in that, that uh, hairline, you know, were you amazed when you took those pictures? Honestly, I really didn't expect anything, but I thought that's where I was, um, you know, my hair was the thinnest the most. So, you know, that's where we lose hair during menopause. So I, I just said, let me try to see what it see what it does. And just at that day, I decided to take an after picture, and I was shocked. So I'm extremely excited. Awesome. All right, and how about you, Christy? Hello. Hi. So just like Beth, I was so excited when I heard that the hair care system was coming out. Uh, also because of all the other products that have been wonderful. I love them all. Um, and I decided to go ahead and try it on my back bar at the same time with my clients so that I could see how it would be on different types of hair, uh, different textures. 
And so as I put that on their hair at the back bar, and they love the smell of it. Um, but when they came back, I, no- I noticed that their hair around their hairline was stronger and healthier. And, you know, where that's where I noticed it on myself, too, around my hairline from having babies. And just as we age, I think that, you know, that takes away from our hair around our face. We start losing that hair there. So it has made that healthier and stronger um, as long, along with the color, um, has been brighter, more beautiful, has held longer. The demarcation is definitely um, more faint. Awesome. And what about your clients that have different hair types, whether it's thicker or thinner? How well, is that in terms of, of, it, of them, their usage? Yes, definitely on the ones that have thinner, more fine hair. Um, they noticed that it was more plump. Um, and then the ones with thicker hair, they noticed that it smoothed out a lot easier. It, they did not have to put any other products in there. They um, were able to just blow dry their hair and get it smooth with round brush. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so our next question. So, you know, we talked about, and Autumn, I'm going to ask you this one. Um, you know, people, a lot of people want the effects of a, a Brazilian blowout or a keratin treatment, um, but more and more people are concerned about the chemicals related to those kinds of treatments. And so, um, with Prolux, how do you see that kind of hitting the sweet spot between what people are wanting but um, doing it in a more natural way? Yeah, so this is actually something that I'm really passionate about because part of what has really drawn me to our products in general is the clean aspect. So for me, um, I do not own the salon that I work in. I'm a stylist in someone else's salon. And, you know, I know that there is something for everybody, but I am extremely uncomfortable with keratin treatments and Brazilian blowouts because of the chemical aspect. Um, something that um, I, I don't know that a lot of people are aware of, but when you get a chemical treatment such as a keratin blowout, or I'm sorry, a keratin treatment or a Brazilian blowout, um, a lot of those contain formaldehyde. So in the um, aspect of distributing it to your client and performing the service, both a stylist and the client have to wear protective eyewear. And that's something for me that is really bothersome. All those chemicals blow into the air. And a lot of people like the result of it, but they don't want the chemicals. So for me, this was kind of like marrying um, all of our parallels together between our skincare and now the hair care in the aspect that it's extremely clean, but the performance is over the top. So this is something that not only are they going to be saving money by not having to get those expensive chemical services anymore, But now they also get the results at home that they can do without hot tools. They don't need styling tools. They literally could use our mask once a week um, and get the same exact result that they can from a Brazilian blowout or a keratin treatment. Um, To add to that, something in addition that I don't think a lot of people realize is with those chemical services, it actually um, can straighten your hair so much that if you try to put a curl in it, it's not always possible. If you have naturally curly hair, it can almost flatten your hair so much that you don't have a nice natural curl anymore. And if you have fine hair, they're not usually recommended. Whereas Prolux gives you all the results, but it doesn't matter if you have fine, um, thin hair. You can use it, and you get body. You get smoothness. You get shine. Um, If you have naturally curly hair, it literally gives the curl the perfect S-bend with no frizz, Um, no coarse, you know, frizzy texture. It literally just smooths out the entire hair shaft, leaving it with the same result. Awesome. I love that too. And it's right. It's like if people have to wear protective eye gear, I'm not sure I want that in my scalp that absorbs everything. (laughs) Right. So definitely something to definitely something to consider. So thank you. So, um, a couple questions that have come in from chat. Um, is does this work on African American hair? And the answer is yes. We actually, in our consumer trial, uh, did a blend of, of African American hair, Asian hair, Hispanic hair, Caucasian hair, all hair types, because we wanted to make sure that. Um, so the results you saw from the panel include all of those different ethnicities. 
And then, uh, so that's always a great thing to know, right? So next, uh, staying with you, Autumn, uh, is what do you think customers are going to love about Prolux? You know, besides, you know, their hair looking better, what are some of kind of like the side benefits in terms of um, whether how they're going to be able to style it or how long they can go between washes? Some of the things that you think that they're just going to think, oh, wow, this is great. Um, well, one thing for certain is the redu- re- I'm sorry, the reduction in drying time. That's huge. A lot of people do not dry their hair because they don't want to have to take the time to style it. It takes too long. Um, so, again, getting back to the different hair types, this is great for any hair type, even if it's coarse and thick, because the reduction in um, styling time is substantial. Um, another thing that I think is important is people love to correct damage. So, you know, as a obviously not natural blonde myself, if I were to have highlighted my hair before, um, I would have a lot of frizz and breakage and just, it was never shiny. Whereas with this, they get all of those results. Um, so it's great at correcting damage for chemically treated hair that's, that might be overprocessed or a high lift color, something like that. Um, Again, the color retention is amazing, and the condition of the hair after it is color treated is fantastic. Um, and then my my other big one that I, I get as a lot of feedback from my clients, and I have about 90 95% of my clients, I would say, um, all use Prolux now, and it is the ease at styling your hair. So a lot of times people say, I wish I could take you home with me, and my hair will never look like this again. And this is something where I, I, you can't take me home with you, but you can take my products home, the same ones that I use and the same ones that I used on you, and your hair can look the same now. So people love that because it's super simple for them to do, and they don't need you know, to buy 50 styling products, and they don't need five different brushes and three curling irons. Now they can get all the same results. Awesome. Thank you so much, Autumn. Um, Christy, I'm going to go to you next. What do you think customers are going to love about just their experience with with Prolex? Well, I think they're going to love the fact, everything that Autumn said. She stole all of my answers. <laughs> That's okay. You can say them again. People have to hear it. Yeah. Well, I, I definitely think that they are going to love the cut down time of getting ready the ball in the mornings uh, or evenings. Um, and I also think that the shine and the color, the same as all blondes, we get dull and, and then the breakage as well. And my ultimate plan for the salon is to switch everything over and have only the Prolux in my salon. And so I need my clients to trust me to know that it's um, this is going to be something for everyone. And I think that it they've already given me great feedback. They The ones that have used it from November already are waiting. They're, they're anxiously waiting to get on my list and to get it in their hands. So I think that's it. Awesome. Those are great things. All right. Uh, how about you, Kelly? Um, what do you think customers are going to love about ProLux? Well, gosh, uh, they, they said everything I was going to say, too. Uh, definitely being able to achieve a salon style blowout at home is, is really huge for people because they want um, – they always want to take us home, and they want to be able to do it. And and this, with the with the, um, you know, it cuts down on the drying time, so they're not giving up on their hair and ripping through it to get that look. They can smooth it out nice and easily. And as far as the the keratin treatment that um, Autumn was saying with the mask, you know, that's a big deal too because a lot of people do go specifically for that to cut down on drying time and they don't need to do that anymore and they don't need to sit and ingest all that either um because there's a lot of chemicals that you're ingesting and we all have to be especially careful right now too so that's that's just another thing to get rid of and um another another thing that my clients really loved um because i had them get on it too um back in november was that because it it's good for every and all hair types, children, uh, curly hair, chemically straightened hair, permed hair, uh, color treated hair. No matter what, it's actually a tremendous value for a family because they don't have to buy all different kinds of products. And that was a huge thing that came back for me was like, gosh, you know, we have actually, you know, 
saved money because we're not buying a different kind of shampoo and conditioner for each person in the family. So um, that was actually my favorite thing because it's, you know, a lot of times people feel like, oh, gosh, I don't want to sell another thing, you know, and and this is actually saving them money. So that feedback for me um, was really great. So what said, and then adding the, the incredible value for a family um, was that was one one of my very favorite things. That's awesome, because a lot of the questions we've had in the chat is like, is it okay for dry hair? Is it okay for thicker hair, thin hair? And it's like, yes, yes, and yes. That's like the beauty of the intuitive system is if you have oily scalp, it's, it's going to help put it back to normal. If you have dry scalp, it's going to help put it back to normal. If you have too thick of hair, it's going to help it be more manageable. If you have too thin of hair, it's going to help increase volume. It intuitively kind of looks at what your hair needs and helps replenish it in that way. So to all of your questions that you guys had, the answer is yes. And also you can use it for children, uh, it's not tear free. So I would just use caution like with baby babies, um, but it is okay. Uh, for children. So real quickly, um, Diane, I'm going to start with you. Uh, just real quickly, how are you planning on incorporating Prolux into your salon business? Like how, how would you uh, have it on the shelf, sell it, and kind of have that transaction go? Um, so basically, um, in my new salon, I have made a larger retail area for Neora, even though I don't choose to retail it. Um, I do have the retail price on it just so it's there for people to see the difference between ordering it online and they can buy it from me retail, but I never sell it retail. So what I do is I use my NGB points for all of my newer products that are on my shelf. And when somebody wants to go home with a product and they've never ordered from me before, like for the Prolux, I use it on them. They fall in love with it. It's on my back bar, and it will be on my retail area. They can go home with the product, and I will sign them up as a new customer. So I keep my application forms at my front desk. I have them fill out an application form right then and there, and I do the first-time ship back to myself to reimburse myself of my inventory. So that's what I plan on doing with the newer, the Prolux. So. Awesome. Thank you. And real quickly, Beth, how about you? Same exact thing. I do the same exact thing in my um, studio. But I also plan to use it at the back bar um, so that everybody can enjoy what the mask really does. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I think the, the more people that experience the mask, that kind of gives them a good overview of the entire system. So that's great. Well, great. So um, we're going to talk just quickly about the male market because this these products are a home run for the male market. So what do you think the reaction is going to be, Diane? I'm going to start with you in from the male market for this product line, and specifically, you know, the scalp treatment. Well, um, as a hairstylist, and all of us agreed on this one, um, you start out with a male client; they will never leave you <laughs> because <laughs> men don't like change. So, honestly, my male clients I've had as long as I've been doing hair, almost all of them I've had since the first couple of years of starting as a stylist. And so if I say, oh, you need these products, and besides the fact nobody wants to be bald, and one of the other stylists had did say that balding for men is like cellulite for women. So <laughs> I love that analogy. And, yes, I'm sorry, Kelly, I stole that from you. But that was perfect um, because that's truly what it is. And I have, like, five friends, brother-in-law and my husband, who have been using it since November. And amazing the results and they remember to put the serum on twice a day i've literally said to them put it by your toothbrush brush your teeth put it on brush your teeth put it on because <laughs> twice a day makes all the difference on that hair growth um and it's phenomenal so uh, as far as males go my personal clientele is about 40 percent men um but they are every three or four weeks Every three, and they all could wear a ponytail right about now, so <laughs> they can't wait to get their hair cut. <laughs> so, awesome. How about you, Kelly? Oh, if you unmute. Yes, I. Oh, there we go. Um, well, I I have a, about ninety five percent of my clients are men, and they will do just about anything not to be bald, and that was that was exactly. Um, what I always say, um, balding to men is like cellulite to women. So just like we go and scoop up 
the firm every chance we get, the men are going to love this product. All you have to say is, ooh, there's a little uh, situation going on, and they will buy it. Um, and I, I mean, I mean I it is a... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say that. I, and men, too, I think, like, once they find something they love, and, like, women who kind of will, like, try a million, million different things, well, they find, they're just going to keep getting the same thing. Like, they're not going to shop around for something. <laughs> it's absolutely true. And, and also, you know, I have a lot of clients right now that keep texting me, oh, my gosh, look at these grays coming in. Look at these grays coming in. When is that stuff coming? When's that stuff coming? So, you know, they, they want to look younger, too, uh, but they do it in a different way. Like, no one... Women love it when their hair is freshly colored. Men don't. They want it to look a little more natural. So I think this product uh, for them is really the secret sauce. I mean, there are so many great things about all of it. But the serum to me, I mean, I can just, I can, I'll tell you in a little while about my personal experience with it. But but I just, um, you know, boy, if you, if you talk to them, in a way, like you would talk to a woman about her cellulite and how you can help her, you will be able to sell this serum because it is the best in the whole world for it. So great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. So how, you know, for somebody who's maybe who's previously um, a, a drugstore brand type of shampoo or conditioner or product. Beth, I'm going to start with you. How would you say, you know, how is Prolux going to be different than that kind of experience and that kind of product? Well, um, the products themselves, because they're more concentrated, they're sulfate-free, um, they, they're going to last a lot longer than something from CVS. I mean, the stuff that you get there is usually water, like is the main ingredient, and mainly what it is, and you have to use a lot more. I mean, it actually kind of sits on the hair and coats the hair, um, but with this, you know that it's actually getting into the hair shaft, and it's actually doing something to correct the damage. Um, and for me, um, this kind of product lasts a very long time. I think I went through a set on my own hair on an everyday washer, and I went through that in about two months. And that was huge for me. So the value is, is huge. Awesome. Uh, and what would you say, Diane, is different than kind of a drugstore brand? Um, what just happened? You're good. Sorry. Um, so basically what Beth just said, I mean, as far as um, the difference between the two is, our product, like most professional products, are extremely concentrated. So the biggest thing that we all have to teach any customers that are going to purchase this is how concentrated it is. So, you know, when you go to use it, first of all, opening the products, opening the bottles, the way New York has packaged them is actually quite brilliant. I said because I'm used to getting certain products that they tape them shut so during packaging they're not going to like leak out in the box. So Niora made these tops so nice that you, when you, you really do have to push hard. But once you open it, then it opens and closes very easily. So you want to make sure you tell your customers that because I initially had clients bringing it back to me saying, I can't get this bottle open. So once I figured that out, I thought, well, that's good. Um, but it's very, very concentrated. You have to remember to tell your clients or customers or partners that you're washing your scalp, you're, you really want to make sure you concentrate a very small amount, like nickel size maybe. doesn't matter how much hair you have. Get that in your hand. Get it into your head. Make sure you tip your head back into the water so it will emulsify. It's super concentrated. You do not need a lot. And if you use too much, if a person uses too much of this product, they won't like it because it's going to make their hair feel like way down. And it will do the opposite if you use the right amount. So everybody has to kind of play with that a little bit. Same thing with the conditioner, extremely concentrated. And when using the mask, again, same thing. Maybe a nickel size, make sure they use a comb or a pick in the shower and just every comb every which way before they put it up on top of their head and put a plastic on and go do something for 20 minutes. Well, they have their hydrogen <laughs> There you go. Awesome. Thank you. So, you know, like we've been talking about, we're going to be sampling this product with a sampling system. So I'm going to go to you, Christy, next. Um, and as well as just people who buy the set and are using it for the right for the first time, I think a lot of this, their success and them liking the product is going to be based on setting up um, how to use it properly. 
So, Christy, you did a great job kind of explaining some of the things to really keep in mind that are different and teaching people the right way to shampoo and teaching people kind of some tips on how to work it. Uh, so go ahead, and I'd love you to share those. Yes. Um, so when I use it myself, I make sure that my hair is very saturated with water, and then I use a very small amount, just like uh, Diane said. Um and I actually kind of part my hair around and work it onto my scalp, massaging with your fingertips. Do not massage with your fingernails. That will break the hair off at the scalp. So use your fingertips and really work it through to the scalp and add some water to rinse. Um, and I teach my clients that when I'm shampooing them. I'll, you know, even though it's a relaxing time for them, you know, I will work my way back, you know, and massage that through their hair, through their scalp, and then when I hit it with water, then I work it and kind of pinch it down through the ends without um, saturating that too much. Um, Let's see. Then um, you want to make sure you rinse it really well. You want to uh, use cooler water, in my uh, my experience with it. Um, I feel like the hotter water just makes it kind of slide and silky. So, you know, you think that you got it all out, but really separate that hair and get up in that scalp and rinse it with cool water. And you will notice a major difference to get that hair prepped and ready for all the other products to put on it. Because that is rebalancing. And, you know, I know my experience that my hair up here where I've been using that is completely different from my hair down here. Although this is healthy. Right. Yes, it is very different hair. So I know that um I know that it's rebalancing everything. Awesome. Great. Um, Kelly, how about you? What are some tips and tricks you would suggest um, about how so, to use some of these products to set the right expectation and experience? Um, okay, so uh, I liked what she said about the uh, water temperature. We never want to use water that's too hot. Um, and that, that is not good. Also, not not a ton of product because obviously we don't need it. Um, and if you feel like it's not enough, you can always add a little more water and get a little more of a lather going because that'll that'll break it up a little bit once it's been sitting on your scalp. Um, and I would recommend squeezing it through your hair instead of like doing this. I would, you know, massage your head up here and then I would kind of like squeeze it on the way down. Um, another thing I love, you know, a tip with the, with the serum is I, I use about five on me personally, and I've done this on, on people with, uh, very fine hair like myself. I'll use about five, four to five pumps of the serum, kind of massage it in my hands a little bit like this. And then I work it through like this. And I do that mainly, honestly, when my hair is already dry, um, and what I found is that it, it gives it a lot of volume right away, and it doesn't, even after I've done a blowout on myself, it doesn't crush it. It makes it better, um, and it just it makes it last longer, and it, and it just keeps it for a longer amount of time. Everyone has to play with that different, um, in a different way, but that's what has been working for me, and I also have found that it works kind of like a dry shampoo where if you feel like you need just a little lift in your hair and you need a little, um, you need to feel a little cleaner, I've used that and um, it works the same way a dry shampoo would without giving you all that gross buildup inside your hair because that's a nightmare to get out too when you wash your hair. So um, those few tips for me as far as shampoo it is very concentrated and you don't need a ton, so don't like blob it in your hand. If you need all this to make it work more, it's actually going to work be worse because you'll never get it out. <laughs> so awesome, thank you. And Autumn, close it out. How about for you? Uh, well, I have two tips actually. My first one is purple shampoo. Um, so I know, and especially coming into summer, I think it's important to note that. People with um, blonde hair always want their blonde to look vibrant and bright. And so a lot of people have asked me, well, do I still need to use purple shampoo? And the answer is no, you do not. 
Um, I have not personally used purple shampoo, and that's all I used to use before, and my blonde is brighter than it was before because it's not loaded down with extra product. Um, so it allows it to look shinier and healthier and um, just kind of takes out that brassiness that happens over time with pre-lightened hair. Um, another tip that I have, and I think is super important to note for everybody, and it's important to, to know for you personally using it and to recommend to your customers. Um, like our skincare, Prolux will detox the scalp. So our skincare detoxes your pores um, with use of the night cream, which would be like the treatment per se. And the um, Prolux helps to detox your scalp and the hair follicles. So what it's going to do is kind of get down into your hair follicle and help clean out the junk that's in there. So as it's doing that, it's going to help to generate new healthy hair, um, which is a great thing because that's what a lot of people don't have with what they're using currently. Um, and is, it is very normal to have an acclimation period while the scalp is rebalancing because your, your scalp is really trying to, like, you know, figure itself out. So an acclimation period is very normal, just like it is with our skin. Um, and the real results of Prolux will deliver over time. So with a few months of use as the scalp detoxes and rebalances and the pH kind of stabilizes, the hair follicle will become strengthened and it will produce um, much shinier, healthier, just more vibrant, youthful looking hair again, which is what everybody wants to have no matter what your age. So um, I love that this is universal for men, for women, for people of all ages, all hair types, all ethnicities, and I love that it follows the principles of our skincare in the same way. Awesome. Well, I think that is a great ending note. And thank you to each of you for sharing your expertise with us. Um, really, really loved what you guys had to share. Thank you guys for being a part of our, our launch here. So thank you. You guys can um, go ahead and rest and relax. Your job here is done. You guys did awesome. So virtual high fives to each of you.